Okay, welcome back to Aria Sorrow. Random. Randomized. We were making pretty good progress. Uh, we got a little bit hung up on getting Big Jump, but now we have Big Jump. So it's been like two days since I played this. And, uh, yeah. So if you don't know what I'm doing here, I'm basically just, um, I'm using the randomizer. And just trying to finish the game. And because of the randomizer, some parts of this are easier. Like, especially because you can throw cats. That happens. And some parts of it are a little harder. Uh, do we want to keep going? You know what, we'll just... Fuck it, we'll just keep going through the clock tower. I still don't have double jump, but I do have big jump. Wait, how do I use that ability? Chat, isn't it an item? Or, uh, um... Didn't I have something that let let you... Sink? Oh, it's a yellow soul. Sad soul. Oh my god. Oh god. I didn't expect to be here. Oh god. Okay, difficulty's a little harder here in this part of the castle. Kind of semi-remember trying to farm this guy for some kind of item in uh, my regular run. What does the randomizer entail for people who just arrived? Um, well, the palette is a little bit randomized. The enemies, I don't believe are randomized, but their drops are. And, you know, the locations of weapons, abilities, skills, all that's random. But there's a lot of options in the randomizer. So you can basically, you can even, like, randomize where exits take you. So you can have places take you to the completely wrong areas, which I think makes the game probably a little too hard. Oh, fuck. Skyfish, while praying both luck and strength increase for a moment. That's not good. not necessary is what I'm... It, I mean, it's, it seems fine, but... Okay, I might need to use a healing item. I drank Dracula milk. I can't get through there. I mean, I can, but it's, it's gonna cost me some health. Ugh, shit. frames. Ooh. Oh, hopefully this is good. Transforms into a bat. Okay. I don't really need this either, but... Wait, I do need this? Because I can basically fly anyway. This is mandatory. Oh, okay. I didn't know this was necessary for progression, okay. I need a lot of magic for that. And I have to go back that way. Oh shit, alright, um... Oh my 
god. Can I bat through these small areas? It will get you through? Okay. Again, it it's just a lot of magic to get that bat. Jesus. God, Jesus. Jesus, look at you, look at you with all your health. You can get three hits in a row with this weapon. I didn't even realize you could get three. I thought two was the limit. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, miss your fuck face. Your taxi has arrived. Vinny, go left. Why? I did there. There's some rooms over this way I haven't done, but I don't I don't know if they're mandatory. Uh, what's this looking like on the map? This is just a dead end. There's another one. Good music here. Uh, I'm gonna continue to use the HP one. Some, some real tough motherfuckers here. That that's good. There's a boss here, so we wanna we wanna go save. Yeah, saving would be good. Oh, okay. We don't want that. We want to save now. Okay. Um, need... Uh, where's where's one that's close to a save point? This is an easy one. Okay, so bat is mandatory, but however, right now I'm not going to use bat because we need to go fast. Save point. Beautiful. I mean, I remember these games, like, coming out. It was amazing. It was like, one year we got this one, then the next one we got the next one. And each one got better. And then the DS releases were all really good. Like, it was always a reliable series. the uh, Iga Castlevania games. It was it was always good. At the very least, they were good games. At best, at times, they were incredible. Ecclesia being the last one was very good, too. 
Ecclesia was great. They ended on a high note. I thought there was a boss here. This wasn't a boss. This just loops back around. Hmm. Okay, that's... Alright, never mind that. I mean, I need to do some more leveling up. I don't think we're going to be able to fight Dracula. I mean, if I get a god I item, or like the best armor, the best weapons, I think um, we'll have a better chance against Dracula. Have some curry. You got the soul to go underwater last time. Oh yeah, that's a whole new area we can check out. This is a new area. Top floor. Oh, this is the, um... I think this is the Drac Zone. Okay, yeah, here's where things get scummy. Need better weapons and items! Okay, we're gonna leave. We're not gonna we're not gonna spend time there. This is a much better area. Okay, I, I should probably not be recklessly... Should probably just be more careful. Um, chat. Let's see what I have. So I have the waiter skeleton, I have a ripper, ripple laser. I have, um... Sometimes I can't say words. It's real, real interesting. Weakens enemies with poison claws. I don't know if this is any good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I already have that one. Do you know what this place is called in the Japanese version? No. What is it called in the Japanese version? Goon cave? Oh, no. Notice how all the enemies you fight in this area are women. Yes, I've noticed that. What is that? Is this... Is this what, what are you trying to... What, what are you getting at? What's going on here? Layer of the girl boss. Okay. <laughs> That's better than I was expecting. No, it's not that. Alright, let's go back and get some uh, healing. Oh, oh, chat, you know what? I think I'm gonna buy a god weapon. There was a goon in the mirror, I did see that. Uh, cream puff is way too expensive. However, I could, um... Oh man, the final sort. I thought I had enough for that. Maybe I can sell some stuff? Chat, these prices are insane. I don't need the lance, I don't need the hammer. I'm gonna buy the fucking final sword. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it! What's up? Oh, hey, thanks, Scott Falco. 
and hello raiders. You just missed um, a game where you are a vampire and you actually have to convince people to let you into their houses. Maybe you've seen it, but it's amazing. Someone's a spirit though. Are any of these souls worth buying, chat? Not really. Alright, well we did get this final sword, which is... an upgrade, to say the least. Just a little, just a little upgrade. Chat, Legend of Grimrock is coming to the Switch. Which is, um, the sequel is one of my favorite Switch games ever. Uh, it's one of my favorite Steam games. I don't know why it took this long for Grimrock Rock 1 to come to the Switch. But, uh, it would be nice if they made a Grimrock 3 at some point. Or s I, is anyone making games like that, specifically? I know there's like a couple ones that are somewhat similar, but I haven't seen anything quite as good as, as Grimrock 2. Dave said there's one. Etrian Odyssey? Oh, yeah. There's some pretty big new campaign mods for Grimrock, too. Oh, that's cool. Bard's Tale 4. Restores health. That's good. Is this supposed to be like Marie Antoinette? Chad, does this final sword have a special attack or no? Oh, it's just like, yeah, the headhunter. Kind of reminds me of Zelda 2. No special attacks in this game. All oh, right. It's a little disappointing, though. And then it turns into a lizard alien. It's true form. I missed the orb. Is there a rewind on MGBA? Oh, man. Fuck. Default? Squiggle. Hang on, there's a squiggle. You have to enable it? Ugh, fucking hell. Enable rewind. I, don't, I think it's... You can't... Yep, never mind, it's gone. You save before the fight, right? I mean, is it- it's worth it to get that, right? That is, like, definitely worth it. You don't need the orb? What is- is it a level up? Or is it- Isn't it- is it just HP and magic? That's it? Orbs are just heals. Oh. Alright, never mind then. I forgot- I thought it was a level up. No? I tried.
S-Talk. Definitely not better than what I have now. I actually, are there even that many weapons that are better than what I have now? Someone said there was like one better weapon, maybe? The Clem Soleus. I still don't know how to say that. I know it's not that. Remember, there's a big debate when I, when I played this game or like Symphony or something. Over how to say that. Cleave Solus? Right. Cleave Solus, yes. Oh, nice of the game to sell me this amazing sword this early. Okay, now we have to use Bat. Getting Bat before Slide is fucking wild. It's a very vampire stream night for some reason. This wasn't planned. Well, it was, obviously, but I mean, it just kind of worked out this way. Wait, was I here already? I was. I was, actually. I just entered it into a, a repeat area. I know because that's where Norts and myself were in the window. The thumbnail that Johnny cooked up was quite good. I know where to go, I think. We can try the underwater area. I think... I don't know if I need, like, a ton more things to get to Dracula. I might need a couple more things. There are probably people in chat who know exactly what I need. I mean, aside from just leveling up. Do you want the good ending or the bad ending? Oh, I don't I don't need a good ending for this. It's fine. Giant bat, succubus, and the soul that casts Hellfire Fireballs. Is that for the good ending or three specific souls you need to avoid the bad ending and fight Julius. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, maybe maybe I do need the good ending then. You lose out on a lot of the game with the bad ending. Yeah, I remember that now. Love this enemy. It's so weird. Flame demon, giant bat, and succubus. You have to have them equipped during the fight. So, okay. Well, let's hope that none of them are um, randomly in some fucking enemy that I don't... Like, what if the flame demon is just in some random-ass enemy? Like a bat or something. I wonder if the randomizer, like, has checks for that, or, like, puts them in rooms. Were the settings for that? I don't think so. I put it on fast. There is a spoiler log, I think. Yeah, I have a spoiler log.
the books you pick up should tell you. I'm gonna read. I'm not here to read. There's nothing in there. This palette is bright and minty for some reason. If I'm not mistaken, the gun is somewhere in these caves, too. Which, the gun sucks, so it's not even worth going after, but... I think it's somewhere. It, it, it's either in a cave in this game, or in... Ah! In Dawn of Sorrow. I need to use an item. I hope the game blesses me with some better armor. the sword this big. I'm still am having a little trouble with this boss. Gotcha. Shoots out razor-like feathers. That bright flash in this screen is another enemy that drops a scroll in this room? What, what do you mean a scroll? That skull key you got... A soul, oh. That skull, uh, skull key you got is cut content, it's not actually used. Oh. You need to freeze time to get it. Alright, there's a lot of stuff going on here that I'm just trying to- Oh, fuck, I forgot about this. That enemy, right. That enemy. I was wondering what you were talking about. Oh, jeez. Behind Golem, there's a save. Repairing your map, something went wrong, but we'll have them working again soon. What? It's for my controller, I guess. I think the cable's a little loose. Fast forward would help, but... Alright, I'll take it. Poison! Not good. Do not want poison. Oh, there, there we go. Yeah, even with broken giant final sword, game's still kind of hard. that golem and you can level up a bit. Are the levels that good? I mean, this is the room for it. You're not wrong. Let's see. Yeah. Well, that also requires me to not, not die. Decent find though, high potion. So those those enemies drop 
Yes, stand in the enemies, yet! Yeah. Stand in the enemies, yet! Yeah. Yeah. Oh no no. These these are great for levels. I'll get one more. One more level. That was close. That was even closer. Wow. Okay, maybe we're done fighting that enemy. Good enough. I'll take it. Why is this fish upside down? Buries landmines throughout its turf. What if that fish has the best armor in the game, though? Chat. It's possible. It could. What a sad existence. dropped $50 or 50 coin. I don't know what future money they use in 2035, which is not very far away. So a skank coin. Oh man, skank coin is, is a really good form of currency. I'm surprised that dude didn't want it. Now this is an interesting room. Bar bomber armor. Astounding amount of destructive power. What do these drop, I wonder? I just want to get one drop from them. It's randomized what they drop, so they could technically drop the best armor in the game. Usually they drop... Check the best, Jerry. Alright, they're called needles. needles. Yeah, they dropped something. It's a question mark. What are they- Oh, I got something from- I got something. I picked it up immediately. I don't know what it was, though. That destructive compared to my sword. point chat I didn't even consider that so if I check needles now silk robe that seems like a lot of armor nope none
My friends and I used to have- Oh, Satan's ring has been discovered, chat! Um, my friends and I used to have this joke about wearing silk pants to a strip club. Like, is that allowed? Is that legal? Satan himself once wore this ring. I bet Sa Satan wore silk pants to a strip club. It's the meta. Okay. So this, um, black belt is good. This has a little bit more defense, which I might... I don't know. The stats, I'm not really sure. This is, I think I'll wear the Satan ring. It's just, it's not worn in the place you think it's worn, chat. Christ, these bombs. Too much. There's a secret area nearby if you get the Undyne Soul. I believe I have that, right? Why is this demon Italian? I guess I don't have that. I thought I did. Yoon. The fuck is that noise? Tri Hark! Triton! Hark! That- ah, uh, I think I might have wasted the melon. I didn't know the melon restored that much HP. Oh, I got a potato pancake, at least. From Triton. Triton's titty potato pancakes. Flattens the fucking... the dough between his massive pectorals. Someone just said, man, why do I watch these fucking streams? Oh, oh, it was uh, uh, Triton's uh, titty potato pancakes that gotcha. And not the giant diaper ball in Times Square exploding with piss and shit. Okay. Let's see. When these potato pancakes emerged from the rotten womb, Douglas. God himself deemed them holy and wore Satan's ring. Oh my god, how much fucking HP do you have? Oh, this is the secret area. Oh wait, maybe. Gravekeeper, backdash by pressing L. Oh, that, that fucking took a while to get. That's like the first move you get in the game, usually. Secret area is beyond waterfall.
you might be able to get through it with your curly soul. Where, where exactly? That's normally the gun. Um, I think. Rare ring increases the appearance of rare items. That's pretty fucking cool. You have curly soul, but you also need undyne. But you might be able to curly through it. Okay. If I need to farm for something, then sure, but... sword. I need a save point. Giant worm again. Would you say Lethal Company has run its course for you? Uh, no, I'll probably end up playing it again at some point. I definitely... Uh, burnt out on it quicker than most. But... I think... For me, it's more about the people... ...than the actual game itself. Like, yeah, the game is cool and everything. And I'm... I'm into playing it, but... If I'm going to play more of it, I'm more excited about who I might play it with, as opposed to the game itself, if that makes any sense. Because I've seen, I mean, yeah, Ross is making a mod for it. Um, there will be updates with new stuff, so I'm probably going to wait for a bunch of that shit. a little bit of health. Cream soda. Oh, I bet that's a delicious cream soda. In a moldy cave. With Triton's titties keeping it safe. I'm sure that is the delicious, this most delicious cream soda. Ramen. Oh yeah, Grotto Ramen. Delicious grotto. All this food down here is probably so amazing. That might be more silk. So I don't think that's where the gun. That I think is where the gun actually is. Uh, how do you get down there? I guess, like, down left? It's a long walk. Yeah. We're just gonna speed through that area. And, uh, hopefully find a safe point. Get some curry. This is good. This leads to a new area and save point. Man, it's so satisfying to, like, jump into those bats and fucking destroy them. What flavor was that water? 
Um, I'm gonna say grape cran, cranberry grape. Yeah. area you're not meant to have these mobility options so soon so this is like just utterly breaking it some kind of god ring over there So the areas themselves aren't randomized. No, no, I, I didn't choose that option. I chose the quickest option, which is um, original areas. Oh, that's just the gold ring. I think that gives you more gold. Just gives you money. Which, I mean, in this randomizer, if you sell one cream puff, you're rich. Hammer dude loves cream puffs. To be fair, though, good taste. Stop. Taking me through some stuff. I mean, this is as far from the caves as you can get, so if there's ramen up here, I'd probably eat it. Um, there's a boss up here, too, isn't there? Maybe some items I missed, because I, I went very quick, because I think I was dying last time I was here. This area has no boss. Okay. Devil just dropped something. It's fronting. We've, we've been here. This is the clock tower. Um, we, were, we were here real early. Well, not early, but we were here not long ago, so... Oh, God. This is where we started the stream. I'm just gonna warp out of here and try not to die on the spikes. Clock tower has a boss. Did I, did I kill the boss? Guess not. It's a suit. Um, pitch black suit. Oh no, we don't have our suits! Better armor than I had. Whoa! We have a problem.
the palette is also making it a little bit hard to, uh, to see. Just slightly. Oh god, you muppet! Whoa! God! Easy heals. Got your sword, man. <laughs> man, it's so disappointing. The randomizer can be so amazing, and then you kill, like, the most... You know difficult enemy or the one that looks difficult and like final and then you get nothing good day sir it's the, the first one of the first souls you get in the game persephone oh that has the suck doesn't it go back in there it has great a great armor in it what do you mean This is the bone vacuum, chat. When I streamed this game a couple years ago... I, uh, I was really into the bone vacuum. I still am, but I was really into it. I mean, come on, look at that. It's so good. Why does it exist? Someone was like, bone vacuum. Vinny, what are you talking about? What am I talking about? Oh, you can't go that way. One more time. All right. I bet you Timu has a bone vac. It probably doesn't even work that good. We will yeet again. Did I struggle with this fight, chat? I feel like I might have. See, now I don't have to learn the patterns because I'm, like, overpowered, but I'm still dying, so... I just found a magic pixel. That's it, I just found the magic pixel. Ghost. Oh boy, got the ghost spirit from Dracula, uh, from death. Skeleton Blaze. <laughs> oh man. Defeat one of the hardest bosses in the game, get a basic ability. Do you ever check out smaller bands live in New York City? Um... I have, yes, I have. Not frequently, but I would like to. I just don't know what they are, where to find them. I don't usually get recommendations for local bands, like... Like, Vin, you gotta come out to my cousin's club and see this great band. Uh, Caddyshack. They're playing live. But yeah, I don't... I don't, 
I don't know what the up-and-coming bands are, and if I knew, I would probably go see them. I don't know if I have any real ability to do this. It's the other side. Just go to random shows. I don't even know where to go to shows. I play Irving Plaza all the time. You should come one day and In invite me. Now, if you mean Irving Plaza, just a dude named Irving's house, like on a plaza somewhere, and you just want me to go there to sign your cat, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. But if it's actually Irving Plaza, and um, you are in a local rock band or a band I would enjoy. Vinesauce.email is the contact form. And uh, sometimes I would, you know, I would consider it if it's music, if it's live, and if there's actually people playing music and have a passion for it. You know, I'm, I want to see more of that. I don't see as, as much as I would like to. And I know it exists, I know it's out there, I just don't know where to find it. So, I, thank you for letting me know. I just don't know where to go, like, where, you know, what venues to get into. And even so, like, I still have to, um, go based on suggestion, for the most part. And, uh, there are times where I just don't have the time. But, I'm interested. I'm interested in this. Chat, don't flood his inbox with shitty fake invites. He might not see the real ones. That's a good point. Well, also my mods, you know, take a look at that stuff, too. But yeah, it would be nice. I, I would like to go, um, see more shows in New York City. And I know there's venues, but I don't know which ones are doing, like, you know, the types of bands I like. And, um, I, like I said, if I had more friends that went to go see live music, perhaps I would be finding new bands. But I just haven't had that, um, haven't had that in. My local concert hall did something called the Shrek Rave. You should have been there, Vinny. Vinny, check out my band. It's called Imagine Dragons. Imagine there's no dragons. Shrek Rave is the name of a band, or it's actually a Shrek Rave? Like, cause I don't- I don't think I would enjoy an actual Shrek Rave. War Fatigues. Uh, good attack, good strength, not so great defense, and I need more defense. Shrek-themed rave. I went one to one once, and it was super weird. Yeah. Wait, you don't say. <laughs> like, what? What happens if this- I mean, yes, you rave and there's people in Shrek outfits. That's my assumption. There's either high levels of irony, or high levels of people that love Shrek at a Shrek rave. And I feel like the two can coexist comfortably. Why not both? I think you could probably pull off both, too, yeah. And then there's people who definitely want to pull off... ...to, uh... 
Um, what, what, what soul was it? It was the... Curly. Oh, and I need the one that is on water, right? You need Undyne to walk on water here. Another fucking silk robe. God damn it. There's a whole area behind there, by the way. Hmm. And there's no, like, glitch maneuver to get behind there, yeah? Gunger. What, what is the the this weapon from? The gung gung weapon. Gungner. Norse mythology. Gongo. Odin sphere in Norse mythology. Got it. Oh, Gongo! It's Stylo by Gorillas, except... Gung Gongo. Or it's Cotton Eye Joe. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Ugh. Pretty nasty shit going on here. Where Tiger? Extremely powerful uppercut. Okay. I might need to use the, the suck. the waypoint. Uh, okay, I don't think I can do a whole lot more down here for now, so... Um, any suggest- maybe we, we go to the middle area again and try that? I don't know. Bottom left to arena? How do you get bottom left? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay little nervous about my health, so I'm probably going to go save. Arena and cemetery have bosses. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, I did. I mentioned it in a pre-record that isn't going to be out for like a week probably, but um, I got a Steam Deck. One of my mods got me a Steam Deck for Christmas. The OLED, too. Um, I'm keeping... I'm, I'm keeping it kind of vague, but, uh, mod, thank you. You're amazing. I'm I'm really I'm really happy about that. How much memory? Um I don't know actually. I think it's the 512 gigs. It's it's great. I've only fucked with it a little bit, but I love it. I absolutely love it. You can throw away your switch now. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um 
People are saying bottom... Oh, I see. Restores MP as damage is inflicted. No, I'm very, very, very lucky and happy, and, um... My mod that in question is extremely generous, and, and also I... You know, I, I, I keep them... I keep them... In paid a little bit, give them some work, and I'm happy that, um, you know, I don't deserve nice Christmas gifts like a Steam Deck. I've said it before, but, like, it's not gonna improve my life in any substantial way, because the mobile gaming I need, like, I play a lot of Slay the Spire and, like, shit like that on the Switch, but, you know what I like about it? So, Risk of Rain 2 runs substantially better. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of games I can play that just you know, have more modern visuals that I could never play in a Switch. Oh, that's cool. Um, the OLED screen is amazing. The screen's huge. It is the opposite of portable. But I don't really mind. It's just nice to have and bring it. Another area if you go further down. What are some Steam games you would play on the go? Um... That Halls of Torment game? Um, I played Isaac on it. Or Risk of Rain. I would try Against the Storm on it, because it has a trackpad. I played Quake. Believe it or not, <laughs> of course I did. And Half-Life, and I used the gyro. Just to test some stuff out, and the gyro worked very well. And it has this feature where the gyro doesn't happen unless you, um... have your finger on the thumbstick. And you can change that. But it, it actually works great. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to that area. But yeah, shit like that. I mean, a lot of stuff that I'd be playing on the Switch. Like, I have Risk of Rain 2, I double-dipped for Risk of Rain 2 on the Switch, but I have all the characters, most of the characters on the PC version. So, being able to, like, transfer my saves on the go, like, and, you know, just have the save files is actually kind of incredible. Um, some of the mods for Slay the Spire didn't work. I tried out some stuff, and I had an error with Slay the Spire mods. So I'm assuming there's still gonna be some stuff to work out. Blasphemous, I've completed both of those, so probably not that one. But, um, yeah, I don't know, just whatever game I get addicted to on Steam, I'll end up playing that. FSR 3 will increase performance playability for a lot of games in the deck soon as well. That's cool. It's- it's a really cool device. It feels solid, but also kind of light. Battery life is pretty good. The OLED screen is amazing. The only thing... So, the only thing I'm really looking forward to the Switch 2 for now is just Nintendo ga- OH GOD A NOVA SKELETON! Is just Nintendo games now. Yeah, I mean, Nintendo consoles have, have always been Nintendo machines as a chat member. I had a PS2 and a GameCube, but before I got my PS2, the GameCube was able to play, like, multi-platform games. I remember Time Splitters 2 coming out on the GameCube and it being, like, good and actually looked better a little bit than the PS2 version. Like, so that was probably the last time Nintendo had any kind of parody with third-party shit. But the Switch did pave the way for stuff like this, so I, I'm, I'm happy the Switch exists, and I'm happy that it allowed other things to um, come about, such as the Steam Deck. 
there's um, a rumor as of today that it's going to be just iterative. It's not going to be a completely new thing to switch to, and uh, it makes sense. I, I never thought they were going to try to, like, reinvent the wheel with it when the concept is so good. And the other rumor, and again, just a rumor, is that it'll be 400 bucks. Now, I think for something like the Steam Deck, it is a very pick-up-and-go console. Like, more so than I thought it would be. It's just like, get on Steam, connect your account, and play the games. However, I do think the Switch is still easier for like people who do not have any experience with PC games and Steam and that kind of shit. Switch is cheaper, there's game cartridges, so there's still going to be that casual audience. Whether or not you real gamers, and myself included, like that, but... Yeah, it's, it's a different kind of experience, and I do think Switch 2 is going to maintain that level of, like, it's just easy to buy one, grab a Mario game, and get started. Um, and it'll probably be a little bit more powerful. And, uh, that's, uh, I don't see it having very many more gimmicks, like, maybe Joy-Cons that don't drift. I don't know. Maybe different types of Joy-Con, which was something that people thought were going to happen from the beginning. Whatever the case may be, the hype for Switch 2, for me, is purely what will their launch game be, what will their next Mario, Metroid Prime 4, that kind of shit. And now that I have the Steam Deck, which I, I fucking love, you know, I'm gonna be playing that more for, like, um, all my Steam indie games that I get addicted to. And even some more modern releases, too. Like, it has, um, you can... I don't think I would do this, but you can play VR Chat on the Steam Deck. And there is a microphone. So, technically, you could probably just hang out in VR Chat on the Steam Deck, and then just... And just talk to people, and shit. Whoa. What a wretched- FUCK THIS AREA IS SO HARD! Oh, and it's for some piece of shit move that I don't even need? Hmm. What? Yeah, I got my potion back. Can the Steam Deck output video? Um, no, I didn't play the free port of Steam Deck demo. I didn't even know that existed. This is the feet, please, baby, room. This area is hard, and you cannot just. Like, mash buttons. your desk job. It's pretty cool. It takes an hour or less. There's some neat Steam Deck specific features. You can play it with a normal controller. I'd consider it. It's 
fuck that room. Streams your games run from your PC real, real well, huh? You can use Steam Link to stream Steam Deck's screen to PC. Wow. Is your toilet time increased because of the Steam Deck? I, I kind of don't want to... It's such a nice piece of technology, I don't want it to have ambient, like... You know? That's amazing. Well, Cotton Eye Joe, you got me. I might have, uh, yeah, over, over fasted there. Are you not tired? After this boss, I'll probably end up stopping. Like, they made that sprite and gave it animations just to destroy it. I like that. You thought he'd run out of eye beam juice. Yeah. You can dodge the flames with a normal jump. If I had a double jump, this would probably be a little easier. He's easier without a heavy weapon. Yeah, but my my next best weapon is like a hundred damage less than that one. So reward is double jump, I'm calling it now. Voice. Um, I do have some abilities here that could probably help. Which one was it? I have like one that, that increases armor.
maybe giant ghost? I'm not sure. Probably... Mm. No, it's probably not this one. Um... A little, little bone vacuum sucking. I'm losing more health trying to do the suck. All right, that didn't, that didn't work out so great, did it? Oh boy. Oh, I wish my neck didn't hurt, because um, all I tried to do was brush my teeth. Oh, it's fine. It's just an old problem. Exercise. Do I? Uh, which neck exercises are available for me, so that when I brush my teeth, I don't accidentally <laughs> get a stiff neck? I'm sure someone knows. If anyone knows, Arnold probably knows. Like, how do you get those wings? I want, I want those shoulder wings. I don't want to work out anything else, but I just want shoulder wings. Yeah, this is just a little harder because I do have healing items that I haven't wanted to use. I wanted to save them, but I guess now is a good time to use them. Go back to sucking his knuckles. I think that was working. Very hinged chat member. And and you know what? Stream accurate. That's actually, uh, yeah, that's, that is something I tried to do. Not even an exaggeration. Yeah, just, just stay, stay still. All right, I mean, listen, chat, if I was just lucky and took my time, I could have done that no problem. Gym clothes. Well, I guess it's a sign from somewhere that I need to start exercising more. J. He's a Belmont, and he used to destroy Draculas back in his day. Lots of Draculas, all kinds of them. His family. You think Julius is like, wait, why is there a child here? I don't know how old Soma is. He might be a child. Oh, you need to... Okay.
All right. Graham. Famous blade known as Graham. It's fast. It's not really um, poised to do me any favors, but it's it's fast. Strider has Graham too. No, Strider's uh, is Aragorn sword is um, Glamdring. No, that's G uh, Gandalf. Graham is from Beowulf. Okay. Strider Kiryu. Oh, completely different Strider. Anduril is, yeah, is the Tolkien one. Narsil Anduril. Um, what's Gollum's weapon? His cock. All right, thanks for watching. We're going to go to Nintendo sleep now. Good night, everyone. To be continued. I think we're we're almost not almost there, but you know things are happening. This is a longer rando run than I expected, but it's fun, and uh, we got a couple bosses left, and then I do have to find some souls, and then we can try to go for the good ending. That's why I'm like stockpiling so much of this fucking healing shit, so that way when Dracula appears, I can uh, brute force kill him. I think. Yes, Jack. Good night. Thank you for watching the stream. Thank you for being here. And uh, games was fun tonight. So maybe see you. Don't know when. Possibly tomorrow. Possibly a day before Sunday. Maybe not. Maybe just Sunday. I'm not sure. But I do have some good pre-records, and I do have some other shit that I would like to stream. And hopefully soon I can play more Mosalina. And what was the other one? Uh fucking ultra kill so whenever those may happen th those will happen good night gamings and i will show that animation there's a good animation that's like six minutes i'll show it next time i stream okay goodbye